One of the ideas we have about the big data revolution is that we have great results and new kinds of tools and possibilities that suddenly make the next step or the path forward apparent. Anthropology and ethnography applied to online conversations and uh, online interactions. I would love to see us move towards a model where folks um, have ownership over their data or at least partial co-ownership over their data with the platforms and can choose to donate data um, for research. You should be able to ask Cleo, hey, I want to buy a house in three years. And she'll figure out what you're earning, what you're spending, how much you need to put away and how you can get there. We use almost on a daily basis sort of machine learning uh, techniques. That's everything from clustering to regression to uh, you know, support vector machines, for example. We have a bunch of visualization tools that we use to figure out what all of our data means and if there's anything useful we can learn from it. We're actually trying to exploit small data sets, uh, gather as much information as we can and, and, and be as data efficient as we can. Enormous quantities of text, you know, video and pictures, uh, audio data. It's a statistical programming language and you can write these packages that are kind of, it's like um, your, your own little bit of code that gets disseminated to the larger world and anyone can download it. Before we train our network, we actually have to pre-process our response vector a bit. So you use things like deep learning to, to train your algorithm so it recognizes different objects. So we need a much better informed design process and that means involving from the get-go people who are concerned about societal, human, and ethical consequences downstream. We might use big data to understand cities better. It's a whole genre of things called smart cities and how we go about doing this. A large area of the planet or a large group of people. So in this immersive theatre experience, the audience members wouldn't be able to see anything. They wouldn't be able to rely on their vision. Building an interface around like that kind of cloud computing power so that they can interact with their model the way that they always have, but then get a bunch more results. 